What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Jelly Goon TV. Welcome back to the beautiful family on YouTube. Thank you so much for clicking on this video right here. Really do appreciate it a lot. If you haven't already, please do like the video, comment down below, do whatever you have to do in order to support this video. Find out where the best part in the video you think is. It would be massively appreciated. Check down my social medias down below. You can go to the Discord and be a part of the family. You can go to my Patreon, sign up and wait for content. You can do whatever you really wanted to do to support my course right here and we are family so i love all of you of course anyway today we have another video we're gonna react to scary compilation v32 now i know i start a little bit late but this uh compilation is very good and i just saw that he put it out i haven't watched many of these but I definitely didn't watch this and it's new and it's fresh. So I just thought like we're going to watch it and we're going to watch some scary stuff. I hate ghosts. I don't like it. I'm not comfortable around it. I'm really scared. And yes, I do believe in it. But I do believe that most videos are really fake. But we're going to see in this video what is going on. Remember to check the link down below for this guy right here. And uh, without further ado, I am really excited about this one. So let's see what kind of ghosts we can see, of course. So uh, let's go. An urban explorer visits an abandoned house and encounters something terrifying. Not good. The person exploring the house has no idea I gotta turn as down to what for happened the sound, there. Man, this is gonna be if only he up. knew, he would have held off from visiting this place. It was only after posting this video that a local resident commented on the history of this home. According to them, a mother and her two sons used to live there. But, unfortunately, something really tragic happened to them. One day, one of her sons goes missing. Then, a few days later, the mother is found dead, along with her other son, what? who she murdered before taking her own life. The horrible incident that took place inside this- Let me just pause here. You are visiting a lot of empty places, a lot of empty houses a year, a day, whatever you want to do. And this house in particular really got a dark history. Like, what is the odds on that, right? What is the odds that you go to a place where it's very negative energy and it's very negative spirits that is there? The mother killed herself and her child. I have no idea how you can get to that, but I understand that life is very tough and sometimes you can't get to the point where you just can't live anymore and just know there is help. Um, but yeah, it's kind of creepy to understand that you go into a house which you think is abandoned, but it's apparently got a dark history and it's not abandoned. But we're going to see what happens to this. I think there's some ghost that's going to pop up or something. I have no idea, probably, because it's scary something. But without further ado, let's get into it. Let's go. Home has led local residents to believe that the house is cursed the house is and that cursed. a sinister presence resides inside. Okay. The video that was captured oh, actually, may just uh, prove that. Nature took it. This Definitely. is what was caught. Why is everybody pointing down when they're making videos? It's actually annoying. Yo, yo, what the hell? That is a toy right there. What the hell? What? Why would you even visit a house like that? Why are they always up in the stairs? You can see it now. What, really? That's it. That's Oh, wait, really? I didn't see that. What? I didn't see that. That was so small, bro. I can't see anything. What? What are you looking at? I can't see. What the fuck is that? Let me pause it. That is the most reach I ever seen in my entire freaking life. What the hell is that? How can you take a video and then zoom in like the smallest, smallest part of the video and say that's real? Man, stop that bullshit. I have no idea what that was. It was probably like, I don't know, a bug or something. I have no idea, man. It is just crazy. It reminds me like, why is they always shaking the camera? Why are they always, you know, having bad quality on the cameras? It's just unbelievable when they make these ghost videos. I'm just saying, but let's go. A face can be seen from inside the ceiling. There is no face. It's not clear as to who or what was inside. That's not- What? But it's obvious that somebody or something Where? was up there. Where? Now, it might be the case that it. the thing up there is actually a squatter. I don't see it. But given it. the history of this place, one can help but think Man, okay. that this might have been a paranormal encounter. And perhaps, ah. the sinister entity that is said to live there. 
But as always, I'll let you decide as to what <laughs> the this camera might have been. is just messed up, man. Ghost or something else? I can't see anything. Let me I know what you think. I simply can't see anything. Makes no sense to me. Just saying. Morales, Debbie, and her friends are tubing through a canal when they capture something creepy on camera. This video was taken on July 8th of 2018, but prior to this date, about five years ago, someone had drowned in the same canal that Morales is in. Really? Oh, wow. Little does she know that she and her friends would capture something disturbing. Take a look. That's amazing, man. That looks so funny. What? Whoa, what the hell is that? Nah, 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 nah. One second. It was only after posting the video on Facebook and being told by viewers about nah. this that she noticed. Viewers think. Let me pause here. First of all, you don't film backwards when you come out of a tunnel. You film it real quick and then you go back to the action. What is going on? If you haven't been on the turn before, if you haven't been on a trip before, you don't just pin back and film everything in the back. You just don't do that. That is suspect. That's F. But I'm just saying, man, it looks fake as fuck. Let's go. This could have been the ghost of the victim who had fake. drowned. Others think that this could have been something else, perhaps a creature. No one knows for sure. But it seems like more people believe that this might be the spirit of the deceased don't that who appears to be reaching for the water tube front. to save itself. And especially not that long. You don't do that. It doesn't do that. know that it's too late. You don't do that. But of course, what are your thoughts? I think it's fake. Paranormal it's 100 or not? Fake. It's not. I don't know. That's my opinion. Let it's me. Uh, comment down below what your opinion is about this. Do you believe they are fake or do you believe they are right? I believe there is ghosts. I believe there is supernatural things going on. I have been, you know, watching them myself and everything. But there's a lot of videos who is fake in these uh, compilations, of course. There's a lot of people who seek that attention on Facebook. Especially when we live in this time right now when people, they just fake everything. Let's go. It's the middle of the night and OD Jack is on Why his would phone you even have that and doll? something downright on, creepy bro. happens. That is, ugh. In the corner of his room, Why? there's a doll. Yeah, no shit. OD Jack writes, I was on my phone in my room when I heard something. It's a doll. This is what he caught. Blech. No breathing out my lungs. There's a goddamn doll. Get that doll away from your house. What are you doing, bro? Why are you even sleeping in the same room as that? Oh, you better go, it moved. You better go, it moved. You better go, man. You better get out of the house. If it's, nah, you don't react like that when you lay in the bed and the freaking doll is moving. There is no, you saw it move before, but okay. There could be a person behind that thing right there. I don't know, it just seems kind of. The doll of, appears to have moved by itself. Yeah. Now, it could be the case that friction was responsible for this. But regardless of whether or not this was something paranormal, I don't believe. the video is still nonetheless pretty creepy. The question still remains though, as not enough evidence is given to prove either claim. Did friction have to do anything with this? Or did it actually move on its own? What do you somebody think? Somebody pulled it or somebody did something. I'm 100 if you caught something sure. creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. That being said, let's get back to the video. This guy's amazing, man. Go to his channel and show support. Really good guy. Brian Ramirez is in his backyard when he sees something inside his house that scared the living hell out of him. Brian writes, I was home alone when I took my dog out to the backyard to go to the bathroom. As I was waiting for him to finish, I look up to my parents' bedroom and see this. I am not joking. Let, 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 let me just, everything is so demon looking like, like it looked like a movie, right? I don't believe ghosts, they look like the ghosts in movies. I don't believe that. I believe it's a myth. I believe it's it's some kind of Hollywood scare like the aliens. Aliens don't look like that, I'm pretty sure. They come from different planets. We don't know how the hell they look, but I don't believe they look like that. But this is just too much, man. Every single time it looks like something from The Grudge or some horror movie, paranormal movie, whatever. I don't think ghosts, they look like that. I really don't believe they look like that, but it's too much and it's, it's, it's too fake. Like, you know what I mean? But 
Of course, I'm not taking the credit away from any of these guys or girls who make these videos or who do this. Maybe they real, maybe they not. It's just my opinion that I think this is fake 100%. So yeah, anyway, let's go. Regardless of whatever this was, there's no way that deep. Brian was able to sleep that same night. Talk about nightmare fuel. Mm, this sure. is creepy. It is indeed creepy. 100%. Number one. Susie Somori lives in a three-story house with lots of stairs in several rooms. Out of all the rooms, there's one in particular that she stays away from. Really? On the third floor, there's a large vacant room with a painting of a sun on one of its walls. She doesn't know why, but there's something about this painting that makes her feel uneasy. I understand that. That's definitely... It may be the ambience of the room, but she can't help but feel like the painting is responsible for the dreaded feeling she gets whenever she walks in. Okay. So, thinking it's all in I her mean, head, some demon she tries things. her best to know. ignore this feeling. But then, one day, Susie encounters something that scared the living daylights out of her. Really? Susie is home alone when she captures the following on camera. Is he gonna catch some ghosts or clap in the door or something? Susie ends the video there, but little does she know that things were about to get worse. Really? One day, Susie's niece is playing inside the room, and while spying on her, she captures this. Let me just, okay, so there's a lot of things that can make kids do this. Now, if you're not aware, if you talk a lot about a ghost or presence in the house, the kid will adapt to that and trying to talk out and trying to make a fantasy thing about it and, and, and a friendship so she not alone or she not crazy, anything like that. Kids, they adapt to themselves really quick. And if mama always talk about this ghost to talk about this painting or something, it's influencing the kid. So the kid will automatically think there is something in the house and will try to make up a fantasy about talking to, to the thing or, you know, because it's very interesting and because kids, they really function like that. So that's the one. Number two, it's fully bullshit. And this beautiful, beautiful kid is just, uh, you know, doing what kids do, play, and being weird sometimes, <laughs> very weird, it's a process you have to learn in life, of course, or number three, the parent is just teaching, you know, this, that we gotta make a video, and we gotta get famous, because, you know, I'm skeptic about everything on Facebook, everything on YouTube, because there's a lot of fake shit out there, like, even reaction videos are fake when they react, and they don't get their full sense, they don't get their opinion, they just, you know, look at the camera and react, like, oh my god, they're not even watching the video, right, but anyway, I just want to say, I come with my opinion in my videos, and this is definitely something I'm worried about, if the kid is really talking to that, but, you know, they always have fantasy friends, so who really cares, right, but yeah, I hope this family is okay, and I hope they're doing good, but let's move on. Yeah. Oh, she's talking to the painting. Ah. All right. So let me. Yeah. Exactly what I'm saying. If the girl or the mother. So the mother told the kid about the painting in the room that it makes her feel uneasy. Anything like that. The kid loves her mother and she wants to, you know, talk to the thing or do anything to protect the mom. It can also be that. Um. It can also be that she's influenced, like I told last time. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of things that goes on in, in kids' mind, and it doesn't have to be paranormal. It could just be that they are scared of losing their mom. They could be like they want to ease up their mom or something like that. Or it can be ghosts. I don't know. But uh, yeah. He appears to be talking to the painting Sorry. as though she's having a conversation with it. Susie didn't like this, and so she asked her as to who she was talking to. This is what she said. Did you like him? Yeah. Gilbert's like one of my best friends. Where did he come from? I don't know. 
I think the man that, that used to live here painted it. Is, it, is Gilbert friendly? Or does he speak to you? Yeah. What does he say? Because I don't pray. Susie doesn't know what to make of this. But it's still logical to think it about it. It seems that, that her niece had befriended Gilbert, the painting on the wall. She's made an imaginary friend. But the thing said by the so-called friend doesn't sit well with Susie. And so, she decides to spy on her once more. But this time, she captures something even more strange. Her niece appears to be looking for something underneath the floorboard. It was only after her niece had fallen asleep that she decided to investigate the spot. She checks it out and ends up finding something disturbing. Take that a look. That is kind of creepy, but, you know. That is kind of creepy to have a, that in your house. Looks like it comes up. But it seems kind of reasonably put on and it seems kind of not hiding away or something like that. It's just not really. And there's wires so the electrician should be there. You know what I mean? I think it's 100% fake. 100%. I don't think it's real. Really? Wow. Of course it is. Of course it's a witch you bought. But, yeah. It's like a story or something. I think they are telling us something. I don't know. I don't believe it's real. I definitely don't believe it. It's too good to be true. Needless to say, Susie was speechless. What's more strange oh, about this true, is the Ouija yeah. board itself. If you look closely, the board appears to have the same painting of the sun that's on the wall. Mm. This can't be a coincidence. Susie is certain that the board is somehow connected to the painting. This unsettling discovery has led Susie into researching the history of her home. And, after much research, she found this. Here is a photo of the house from 1916 and it was built in 1902. So this would be the first or one of the first families to live in this house. As you can see, there are six people present in the photo. I'm looking at the English census records. I found that the father would be called John. The mother was called Maud. Next to on the balcony, here's a daughter, Dorothy. The birth of a okay, that's creepy up in the window. registered here in 1911. So he would be about five or six in this photo. I'm unsure why he's not with the rest of his family in the photo. What they did to him. I just have an overwhelming feeling that something really terrible happened to him at the hands of his own. Mm. The weirdest part I is that you. this is where the sun painting is situated in the house. That's his room. Gilbert was the name of a child who used to live in her house and whose room has the painting of the sun, which seems to have been named after him. It she is has too good yet to, to be post true. more info okay. on the history of her home. For now, she continues researching in the hopes of putting an end to this mystery. Is no. Gilbert the supposed yeah. ghost there that talks to her niece? It's a story. Or Love it is so it much. something Let else? Me pause it. Go down in the link down below and support this guy. He really does an amazing job by telling ghost stories and doing these stuff. I really do like these compilation of his. They are amazing, really, truly beautiful way of getting scared and, and, you know, watching ghosts and everything. But that was very nice to see and very inspiring to see that there's a lot of people who go through a lot of stuff. But I think there's also a lot of people who, you know, pretend that they're going through ghost stuff or identities or something like that. I think there's a lot of videos out there who's fake, of course. But if you believe it's real, please do comment down below whatever your opinion is. I really would love to know. Do you believe in ghosts? Don't you believe in ghosts? Please let me know. I really want to know. Um, also, please do hit the like button down below. It would be massively appreciated as you support the video and you support the cause of this video, of course. Um, anyway, also, please do subscribe and hit that notification button to get updated on newest videos that come to this channel when you become a member of the Jelly Goon Squad, of course. Anyway, my beautiful family, I love you so much, and I'm going to see you into the next one. Peace.